Results of empirical studies are generally disseminated or shared through specialized scientific journals. These journals publish articles that relate to a specific research field. Traditionally, these journals charge universities and others high subscription fees. However, researchers are not paid for the articles that are published, and cheaper online publishing is replacing printing of journals. This has led people to ask why the subscription fees need to be so high. Universities pay for the subscriptions to journals that contain articles that the universities pay their employees to write. According to many, scientific knowledge should be available freely to all, without making commercial publishing companies a lot of money. In the relatively new open access approach, researchers, or actually the universities, are asked for an author fee if a manuscript is accepted for publication. This allows open access journals to provide the content freely to all. In either case, closed or open access, journals need to assess the quality of a submitted manuscript and decide whether it's good enough to be published. Submitted manuscripts in reputable journals are therefore subjected to peer review. This means an editor asks two to four experts in the field to review the manuscript. In most cases, the author and the reviewers remain anonymous. Reviewers do their review work for free. Reviewing is considered a professional responsibility. For some high-profile journals, the review process takes several weeks. But in most cases, the process takes several months, sometimes even a year or more. Reviewers can reject a manuscript outright, which happens often, or they can accept it as is, which almost never happens. Most of the time, reviewers will consider acceptance if the manuscript is revised. Revision can entail rewriting the manuscript, but also extending or redoing a part of the study. The review and revision process can be repeated one, two, or sometimes even three times before a manuscript is definitively accepted or rejected. Journals obviously want to publish high-quality research articles, but how do you determine whether reviewers did a good job and accepted good manuscripts? Journals determine their quality according to the number of times their articles are cited by other articles. These citation scores are used to determine the impact factor of a journal. Of course, publishing in a high-impact journal will increase a researcher's chances of being cited, because people expect high-quality research in a high-impact journal. For researchers, it's important to publish high-quality articles measured using the number of times their articles are cited. Of course, it helps to publish more papers, because this increases the chance of being cited. Unfortunately, the focus on measurable research output and the increasing competition for funding and faculty positions has led to an enormous pressure to publish, where more is better. This trend is often described using the phrase, publish or perish. It nicely illustrates the importance of publishing, especially for researchers who are starting out and are appointed temporary faculty positions until they've proven themselves extremely successful, both in publishing their research and obtaining grants to fund their research.